In today's rapidly evolving technological landscape, it's more important than ever for law enforcement agencies to stay ahead of the curve in the fight against crime. The implementation of smart gadgets and AI is a crucial component in this endeavor, as they provide these agencies with the tools they need to tackle criminal activities that are becoming increasingly complex and sophisticated. These instruments have become indispensable assets for law enforcement agencies, from drones that can fly undetected and gather real-time information, to tactical gear that protects officers in dangerous situations. Get ready to be amazed by the cutting-edge tools and gadgets utilized by the world's most elite law enforcement agencies. This video brings you the five most excellent gear top-notch officers use to outsmart and outmaneuver even the most cunning criminals. Five. First and foremost, let's talk about smart device data. The amount of data produced every day is skyrocketing. Much of that data may be helpful in the fight against crime. With their capacity to record incidental activities in their surroundings, the internet of things, IoT devices like video doorbells and voice assistants are becoming increasingly valuable intelligence sources for officers and detectives looking for evidence. A US court has used information from an Alexa smart speaker to support a double murder investigation. Likewise, information from Fitbit fitness trackers have been used in several cases, most recently in prosecuting a man charged with the murder of his wife. To access the data collected from their devices, more than 400 police departments have partnered with the video doorbell manufacturer Ring with permission from the device owners. Besides that, the infrastructure of smart cities will be developed with capabilities to help with crime detection and prevention, such as controlling traffic lights to help police and ambulance crews arrive at the scene of accidents or crimes quickly. ShotSpotter is a network of gadgets explicitly created to help fight crime. This consists of a system of microphones that detects gunfire and is attached to city infrastructure like streetlights. Law enforcement personnel are then issued real-time alerts so they can respond more quickly instead of waiting for witness reports to arrive. Although the technology is not new, it is now becoming more widespread. Four, if that wasn't cool enough, wait until you hear about computer vision. In policing, computer vision has many essential applications. Automatic license plate recognition, ALPR technology, is perhaps the most frequently used to allow cameras to recognize vehicles and their drivers. Facial recognition is a more recent application that has also generated controversy. One UK police force was found to be using it illegally. This occurred because it was applied indiscriminately, without regard for reducing racial or gender bias. However, it is becoming increasingly common for police to use this technology. Recent US deployments include finding those responsible for the January 6 Capitol attacks and those involved in the Black Lives Matter riots in 2020. A new generation of lie detectors that work by analyzing microscopic movements in the subject's eyes and face also employ computer vision. One such system, iDetect, has been employed voluntarily on suspects and by employers during hiring processes. Even minority report-style proactive crime detection using computer vision may soon be possible. Machine learning is being applied to video data to create predictive algorithms that can suggest where crimes are likely to occur, based on the accumulation of people in the environment, traffic, weather, and objects that can be detected in the environment. This might include information obtained from CCTV cameras or even video from a drone. Three, this one will blow your mind away, robotics and drones. Robots are absolutely beneficial in law enforcement because they are capable of jumping into risky situations. While society and technology are yet unprepared for a general purpose Robocop, autonomous mobile units will become increasingly critical in various specialized roles. Disposing of bombs, suspicious packages, and other suspicious and potentially hazardous items is one of the most pivotal. These have been around since the 1970s, but the most recent version can be operated using VR-style headsets and has much higher levels of autonomy than earlier versions. Robots that can climb stairs and even jump over walls have also been developed to eliminate the need for human operators to manually position the robots close to the suspected bomb before they can start working. Law enforcement and security agencies also use robots to conduct surveillance. Boston Dynamics RoboDog uses LiDAR for navigation and has thermal cameras to detect intruders even at night. Furthermore, preparations have been made to allow for their possible use in hostage negotiations. Given that the market for robots in law enforcement is anticipated to reach $5.7 billion this year, a lot more novel and intriguing applications will likely develop. 
Police and other law enforcement agencies can perform continuous surveillance and peacekeeping without the need for additional staff, thanks to drones and other robotic applications. For instance, robotic policing pilot projects have already started in China, where robots patrol public spaces to spot and eliminate threats. Although robotic policing isn't very common in other nations, law enforcement agencies have undoubtedly embraced drones, and with good reason. In one Mexican city, introducing just one drone resulted in a 10% decrease in crime rates. Drones and robots act, at the very least, as crime deterrents, and at the very most, as witnesses and evidence gatherers. Two, moving further, we've got digital twins. A digital twin is a computer model of any real-world object, system, or process. It can precisely simulate whatever it is a twin of because it is informed by data made possible by sensors and IoT technology. In Guangdong, China, the Provisional Police Department has collaborated with local authorities to produce a real-time map of the city, highlighting the locations of incidents, as well as public interactions, calls, the use of police resources, and threats that are either suspected or actual. Through a visual data analytics platform, the model consolidates feeds from 10 different government departments to provide the police force with a thorough and up-to-the-minute overview. This means that the police can model and evaluate their response to various situations, from citywide emergencies to allocating resources to address recurring problems like robberies on the street and public nuisances. 1. Finally, on the top, we have virtual reality and augmented reality. Virtual reality, VR, is a technology that creates a simulated environment or world through a digital interface that completely replaces the real world. The user wears a headset or uses a device that blocks out external stimuli and immerses them in a 3D computer-generated environment. Users can interact with the virtual world using controllers or other input devices. AR stands for Augmented Reality. It overlays digital information or graphics onto the real world. It enhances the user's perception of reality by adding computer-generated information to the view of the world around them. AR can be experienced through mobile devices, smart glasses, or specialized headsets. The technology can be used to display information, create interactive experiences, or enhance training and learning. We are already witnessing the use of VR and AR to facilitate training and day-to-day -day work for police officers, which has a lot of exciting potentials. One system created by Axom intends to teach police various skills, such as how to defuse potentially violent situations and deal with members of the public who might have complicated conditions like hearing loss or Alzheimer's. Police in Oklahoma, US, are trained to respond to calls involving mental health issues using a different system called Apex Officer. Other systems do not require the trainee to wear a headset, but rather surround them with 360-degree video walls. Outside of the classroom and in the field, AR is helpful because it enables officers to keep tabs on what's happening around them while improving their comprehension of a situation with added computer graphics. Police officers in China have been equipped with augmented reality glasses that can recognize suspects and people who are wanted for questioning. Police can access facial and license plate recognition features in real time using the glasses developed by startup Zhilong Technology. Although privacy concerns make the adoption of this technology by Western police forces unlikely in the near future, it offers an intriguing look at where law enforcement technology may be headed in the future. Despite their benefits and endless potential, elite law enforcement agencies' use of smart gadgets and artificial intelligence raises significant ethical concerns. One primary problem is the possibility of biases in the algorithms used by these technologies, leading to unfair and discriminatory outcomes. AI systems are only as unbiased as the data they are trained on. If the data used to train an AI system contains biases, AI can amplify those biases. For example, an AI system used to screen job applicants could inadvertently discriminate against certain groups if the data used to train it contains biases. This can lead to unfair and discriminatory outcomes, which is a principal concern for many people. Facial recognition technology has been criticized for potentially infringing on civil liberties and perpetuating racial bias. A study published in 2019 found that several facial recognition algorithms had a higher rate of error when identifying individuals with darker skin tones. Moreover, the collection and use of personal data by law enforcement agencies using these technologies raises questions about privacy and potential misuse. This can lead to privacy concerns, especially if that data falls into the wrong hands. The use of AI for surveillance purposes also raises concerns about civil liberties and human rights. As AI advances, protecting our privacy and personal data from prying eyes may become too difficult. 
Lastly, the lack of transparency and accountability in the use of these technologies by law enforcement agencies can further exacerbate these concerns. As such, it is paramount for policymakers and society to carefully consider the ethical implications of using these technologies in law enforcement and ensure that appropriate safeguards are in place to protect individual rights and freedoms.